Health recovery in Tekken 8, recoverable health. No one really talks about it too often. I don't see too many videos on here that uh, address recoverable health. I thought it was an interesting topic. Let's talk about it, you know? I did kind of want to go over recoverable health a little bit. At the end, I also wanted to give my thoughts on it. You might find it interesting. I don't know. We'll see. I also want to hear your thoughts on it down in the comment section. I am getting really good at putting like chapters or little timestamps and stuff. So feel free to skip through and find a spot that you find interesting. And for those who haven't skipped, do you like this layout or do you like uh, my other layout with the, the orange around? You know, you know what I mean? If you haven't seen one of those videos, I'll link it right here above. That way you can uh, go check out the layout and, you know, watch the video, you know, all the way through. You know, you feel me? Your boy need the support. Go ahead and give your boy at least, like, a half light, you know? Actually, let's be respectable today and let's do one light. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Almost at 700 subscribers, but let's get it. Alright, so first up, guys, I do have this, uh article here from esports.gg it's all about Tekken 8 there's all kinds of stuff in here I just particularly pulled up the health recovery in Tekken 8 just because I want to talk about it today and I'm a college student so I've been citing a lot of sources so don't mind me I'm just citing but I want you guys to get like kind of a visual here's like a very professional way of saying like the health recovery in Tekken 8 what it what it is kinda and there's like plenty of other information. I'll link this uh, site in the description. That way you also have uh, this to click on. You know, if you're on a computer or whatever, your phone, you can check it out. It might help you out. There's a little bit of tips, advice, some links. Oh yeah, you got your, your mods too, my boy. Your mods are all up in here. That shit is funny. Let's check out the mods, man. Hey, don't be checking out too long. But back to the main topic. A lot of people really don't talk about uh, health recovery in Tekken 8. And it's not like a problem or anything. It's just like, what is its true purpose in Tekken 8? So essentially it does store extra health that can be recovered during battle. And if you didn't know that, now you do. And maybe that can help you have a better understanding. This article as well also like says it as well. Very, very professional. I recommend it. But that is essentially the essence of health recovery. So what causes recoverable health to show up? And don't worry if you're bored of seeing me, examples are coming up soon. Just be patient. There are certain things to recoverable health that I need to mention, and that would be... You cannot be killed by chip damage in the game. That's fantastic, of course. Like, it's a, thank goodness you can't be killed by chip damage in this game, because it happens in more combat, it sucks. But, in this game, you don't have to worry about that. Certain moves do interrupt the flow of your recoverable health, though. I do want to talk about that for a second. So each character has certain sets of moves that can interrupt that flow of the recoverable health pool if you are hit. And one example of that type of move is the Rage Art. So when the Rage Art is used, it deletes that recoverable health completely. And I have an example here of that. You just see the recoverable health that my opponent has right there. And we're going to go ahead and kill it. And the Rage Art is active. And you won't see the recoverable health go away until the end of the Rage Art. Boom. It's out of there. He gone, and he's stuck way below <laughs> me, right there. That's crazy. And just like that, you could be in shambles. So recovering the actual health itself is actually really simple. Anybody can do it. So as long as you're attacking the opponent and connecting the attacks, regardless if they're blocking, you can still gain that recoverable health back. Being defensive while you have recoverable health, it will leave you lifeless, pretty much. It's not doing you any favors being defensive, when recoverable health is on the line at least. When you are in that state, you have to be at your most careful, but you also have to push. You'd want to get that health back as soon as you can, bruh. I promise you that's what you want to do. I am going to take this back a second though, we're going to see how I got my health back and I recovered. During this round two, my health gets super low. But I have a lot of recoverable health. So guess what? I had to bring it back. I had to clutch up. You know what I mean? So there's an example of that right here. So watch as I start getting folded pretty much immediately. But then I find my opportunity. And what are the recoverable health going up? I'm gaining my health back slowly all the way. Every hit is counting all the way up until the Rage Art. And even the Rage Art hits. They don't count at the moment, but... Oh, no, yeah, there we go. They count uh, every now and then throughout the Rage Art. 
I won't say every single hit of the Rage Art. But that's just a small example of how to get some health back, you feel me? There's a there's a combo for wall, wall rain if you don't have one, get the health back, but there you go. That's just something simple, something I did during the, the match, that's all. I just wanted to show y'all a visual, that way it might help you better, you, you know? Alright guys, we are nearing the end of this, but I just wanted to give my thoughts on the recoverable health in this game, because recoverable health is not a new concept, but it is uh, done, like, not bad in this game. I would just say, um, I don't really like it. I don't like, uh, pretty much the chip system, that's really what the gripe is. The recovery is fine, I mean, I feel like you deserve a little bit more here and there for, like, certain things. I feel like you shouldn't, uh, lose your recoverable health in a combo. I feel like it's kind of, like, it kind of sucks. <laughs> it really, that's all it is. It all comes down to is it sucks. But usually if you're in that combo, you're probably gonna die anyway. Like, in most cases. Like, you get about two to three dead combos, you're probably gonna die. But it all depends. Like, maybe two and a half. But my main gripe is the chip. I'm not bait on the chip system. I never have I never have been. I love MK. Not MK1, but I, I love more combat in general. But the chip system always kills it for me in those games. I always hated that shit. I personally just never been a fan. To me personally, this is like really, really like biased opinion of mine. I feel like if you are capable of blocking every single attack that I'm able to throw at you, I shouldn't be rewarded with damage on you for you being correct. It's different when you can just hold block and like there's only like one thing I can do or something. And this will obviously like this would completely change how characters work. Everything like, everything would need to be changed in order for the system to take full effect because I would I would remove the chip systems from the games like all all of them because I, I don't like chip system. I hate chip damage in general. I would say like rework all the fucking characters for that shit because I hate chip system. I feel like if you if you blotch so good, bruh, and you can just stop what I'm doing, bruh, you deserve to not be damaged, bruh. That's fucked up. But I get it, man. It helps the flow of the match go faster. Because some people can really be just defensive and not even attack you, and then, like, you're just stuck with a match, like, based off time. So I, I get why it's there. I've just never been personally a fan. I wish they would find ways to be more inventive and not just, like, oh, let me just hit you while you block and that's it. And, like, let me wear down your health. Like, luckily, Tekken is not bad with that at all. It's really not. It's not terrible at all. MK is the worst defender for the chip system. That's another video for another day, though. But Tekken's in a good spot with their health recovery and their chip system. It doesn't put you at disadvantage too much. There are certain characters I'm pretty sure that probably get away with a lot. I don't know them all, but I know they're probably out there. Like, what game doesn't have shit like that? But Tekken's been great. I just wanted to help some people out. I've noticed a lot of people online that I fight, at least my opponents, don't... Like, I don't feel like they use the recovery system very efficiently. That I just showed y'all, uh, I feel like, a great example of how to use it kind of efficiently. I did manage to block the Wall Reign's attack, like, perfectly. I bought both his attacks, and I managed to come back with that. But sometimes, uh, those are those comeback moments you just, you gotta do. You have to clutch up, get that health back, and win the match, bro. That's what I did. That shit was fun. But you really gotta find a spot when you wanna, uh, just shove your way in, bro. Especially when it comes to Wall Reign, bro. So many people have trouble fighting his little, like, combination, and it's, it, it's so funny. Like, just dick jab him, bro. That's all you gotta do. But all jokes aside, man, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If I have any newcomers here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I post videos like this all the time. I do work quite a bit, so I might miss a day. But I hope everybody's still enjoying the content. Go check out something else on the channel. I'll holla at y'all again soon. I think I'm gonna go grab a snack or something. But I'm out of here.